Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. I want to give you guys a little bit of updates on things that are gonna be going on over the next month or so. We are almost in May, which is crazy. Uh, that means our last frost is only a little over two weeks away. Um, in the next week or so, I'm thinking probably at this point it'll be next weekend, um, we're gonna be splitting our beehives. So I'm gonna be splitting them into I have four currently and I think I'm going to be doubling. We'll see once I get in there and see kind of how they're doing. I'm gonna check on them on Monday or Tuesday, give them some more feed. I'm gonna put in frame feeders, but we do have a couple of freezing nights. So originally I was going to split them um, beginning of this week and I'm just gonna hold off and make sure that the 10 day is clear. Uh, no freezing nights, no really big dip downs. Uh, and if that is the case, then we will go ahead and split and I'm super excited. Um, one of my hives, I'm gonna be splitting twice, I think. Um, they are super strong and they've always been really strong. And one's a hive I'm probably not splitting at all unless I feel like they're prepping to swarm, but they've always been kind of smaller. And I'd rather um, just kind of give them another year before I split them. Uh, also, I'm gonna be planting out more brassicas and I have a couple brassicas left in the basement that I need to plant out. And then I'm also going to um, plant my lettuce seeds, my spinach seeds, hopefully this week. And again, those are things that are frost hardy, cold hardy, uh, and will be okay even if we have some really cool nights. I probably will cover my garden again um, when we have the 30, there's like one night of 28 degrees is a low and one night of 30. It's not really necessary, but one of those rather be safe than sorry um so i will do that and then we have one set of meat chicks already out in the chicken tractors and i think they'll be okay we might give them some hay um and maybe i'm thinking i might find a box or <laughs> hunter uh or a tote to put in there with some hay for those really cold nights but they're feathering out pretty well and there's enough of them in there that they can keep each other pretty warm we also do have a tarp on the chicken tractor so that'll help uh protect them from the elements so i think they'll be they'll be fine and if i'm really worried i can move them back into the brooder for a night um but i i, I think they'll be okay <laughs> we'll see and we have just been really busy um doing a lot of things i have my seed starts um, I'll actually be up potting my tomatoes probably next weekend or the, yeah, probably next weekend. I'm trying to think of all the dates and everything. Um, but that's because they're going to be growing out, outgrowing their space pretty soon. Um, I will be selling seedlings starting May 15th at the Oneida County uh, Public Market. That following Monday, um, so the 17th, I will start selling them roadside uh, at our little makeshift farm stand um and i'm super excited about that and i will be putting out a lot more information about that what varieties we'll have for sale um in prices so look for that on facebook instagram things like that uh, over the next few weeks and i just want to give a huge shout out to my husband um so my husband has been working overtime for 10 months um, he's been working pretty much continuously over time. He's had a few weekends off, full weekends off here and there, but it's probably a handful in the last 10 months. Um, he's been working, he works five tens and then an eight hour shift this weekend. He's working two eights on the weekends. He's working Saturday and Sunday. Um, so he doesn't even get a day off. And he also has class, um, uh, Monday and Wednesdays for three hours from six to nine. So he has just been nonstop working for 10 months and it's crazy and then he I mean never complains and he comes home and he builds me a chicken coop um he helped me with the chicken tractors we tilled the garden he's gonna help me split my hives um he's helped me just continuously and I can't thank him enough for all the help that he has given me uh and support for <laughs> support for all my goals and he's just truly the best. I don't think I've ever met someone who works so hard and is so dedicated. And not only does he do all those things, but he is like the absolute best father. He plays with the kids and pretty much every weekend lately, we've been having um, these sleepovers. So we all will sleep out in the living room and the kids just 
love it. They just love that special time with us. Um, and although my husband's exhausted from working so much and, you know, just stressed out, I'm sure, from working so many extra hours, you never hear him complain. He never sits, he doesn't like tell the kids, no, we're not doing it because of it, uh, because his work. I mean, we have one this weekend and he's working both days and I mean, he can't sit still. Like he comes home and even if the house is like pretty clean, he still like finds things to do and finds things to clean. So I am so thankful for him. And I think it's really important to show that appreciation to our spouses, uh, significant others, family, whoever is the ones like supporting us and helping us through everything. Um, you know, I've had these insane farm goals and I think they were never really his goals, um, but he has always fully backed me and supported me. Now he does tell me like, chill out. Like, no, we're not getting pigs this year. No, we're not getting goats this year. No, we're not getting more chickens. Like chill out a little bit, which is okay. Cause sometimes I need that rain again. Um, even though sometimes I don't want to hear it. And then he also hunts, like he, he's doing all these things. So like turkey season starts and he's going to be hunting to bring food, more food for our family in. Uh, so it's just amazing. And I love my husband and he watches my videos. So this will be his, he won't know that this is coming <laughs> in this video. So uh, I'm, we've been just go, go, go. It's nice to have a day. Today was kind of a day to just like chill. I cleaned. And that's about it. I'm just, we're just chilling. I have some raspberry wishes and rhubarb to plant, um, but that won't take long and I'm just waiting for him to get home to help me with those. Um, but we won't have to do a whole lot. So cooking him a, one of his favorite dinners tonight and got him some, some food that he likes, some snacks that he likes, just to kind of say thank you. So appreciate the people around you that are supporting you. And I mean, we have a lot of support. Our families have been very supportive and very helpful. Um, we have aunts, uncles, you know, our parents, siblings that are just have been amazingly helpful. And I think it's, if you don't have that farming, that community um, behind you, whether it be just friends, whether it be family, whoever it may be, it's really hard to do this without that. So that's all for today. Just wanted to give you guys some updates as to what's going to be coming over the next month or so um we're gonna have a lot of things coming through and i will try to do as my do my best to film as much as i can um with the splits i do plan on filming those and i'm gonna be doing a, i'm gonna try to do a couple different times types, types of splits um just to kind of see how they go and see which one i like best so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today remember we're growing today for a better tomorrow please like and subscribe and join me on the next one